can see, you can see it's, it's burning, it's burning, and sometimes it... We're going to be making a light bulb using household objects. It's not your ordinary light bulb, but what you'll need is a pie dish, a jar, a medium-sized jar, some crocodile clips with wires attached, a rather large bulldog clip, D-sized batteries, eight of them, a MT light and lighter, some electrical tape, some scissors, and some pencil lead, because this is what we're going to be using as the filament for our light bulb. And make sure it's half a millimetre pencil lead. That's what works best. So here's what you do. Take the pie dish and pop it just there. That's just to make sure that you don't burn the table, which is always a good thing. Then take your bulldog clip and your wires. Now this crocodile clip we're basically just using as a wire stand. So you just want to clip the wires in, just one on either side, and try and make sure that the wires will stand up. Then just pop the handles of the bulldog clip over to one side. Okay, that's going to be your filament holder, I suppose. Then we just need to pop our candle on the pie dish. So what we're going to be doing is running electricity through one of these pencil leads. Now these pencil leads are notoriously thin. So you want to put it in on one side, clip it, and on the other side, clip it. <laughs> that is our light bulb, and it's about ready to go, but we just need to get some electricity to run through it. And that's what the batteries are for. So I'll pop this to one side. Right, so we've got our batteries, all eight of them. And what I'm just going to do is tape all of these batteries together to make a bigger battery. So just whack them opposite terminals together, obviously, and just tape them into one long battery. Okay, so we're just popping all the batteries together. I'm gonna do them two at a time and then Pop them all together into long, one long one. Like that. All right, so we've got four lots of two, and then we've just got to put them all together like this to make a ridiculously long battery. Let's pop them together. Like that. Right, and there we have it. One super-sized battery. So that's going to provide the electricity that will then go through into our pencil lead filament. So I think we're just about ready to go. We've got our super-sized battery. We've got our wires that then go up to our pencil lead. But we've also got our candle. Now, what the candle's going to do is, I'm going to light it, obviously, and it's going to remove a bit of the oxygen from inside the jar. Because what we want our pencil lead to do is glow, but not burn. And by removing some of the oxygen from inside the jar, hopefully, that'll make that happen. Actually, let me show you. I'm going to do it without the candle first. And we'll see what happens. Let's just attach that onto there, like so. If we could take the lights down so we can see what's, see it glowing. So I'm just going to attach this one on. And you can see it's glowing, but it's also burning quite rapidly. Yeah, you can see it getting brighter and brighter and it gets more intense. And it starts burning rather than just glowing, which is never a great thing. There you can see, you can see it's, it's burning. It's burning and sometimes it burns out and that's just what happens when your light bulb goes. But we want to make our light bulb a bit more stable. So, whew, our filament's gone. And that's why your light bulb rattles when it's gone because that's the filament that's broken. 
So we're going to replace it with another pencil lead. Pop that in there. And this time we're going to use our candle. And what the candle is going to do is just stabilize our light bulb. And this is what they do with real light bulbs. They actually remove a bit of the air from the inside and that stops the filament from burning out. I'm going to light the candle. Here we go. I'm going to pop the jar over. Brilliant, we're just about ready. So if we can take the lights down. Right, I'm going to touch the wires on to the end now. And here we go. Yay! There we go. So you can see that we're making our pencil lead act like the filament of a light bulb. And there you go. A light bulb made with pencil lead. All together like this to make a ridiculously long battery. Now, of course, size doesn't always matter, but in this case, it does. So.